It is time for the main card. It is going to be Latif versus Mystic. Let's go, Latif, who took Zeno down 7-2 earlier today. Mystic, who won 7-6 over Gagayux and then 7-5 over Verix. Now he has the huge task of taking the man who looks absolutely invincible. Latif. Main card time, let's go. It is that time again. We have another Axel. From the UK, Barry has also been in this situation uh, before he kind of made the almost permanent swap to Leo and only picking Axel in the bad matchups. Uh, I think he said he's trying to keep him in balance. We do see Mystic sticking to the Axel instead you're of going carried, for the Nago. Carried, Makes a lot of carried, sense. But a pose is really good at nullifying the strengths that Axel has, right? Just yeah. going, yeah, you can put these normals out, but my man Eddie has this under control. All right, let's see. I put that pressure on immediately, but Mystic happy to block. But once you're in the corner against Zato, you got no meter, you got nothing. You get put in this checkmate situation, and and you hope whether you're religious or not, you still have to pray. Long, absolutely picking deities out here, man. Four Odin, Zeus, someone hear my calls. And then you go, you just need the Renton skin nullified by pose, and the team gets in. Usain Bolt. Oh, sets him up with a 2k OTG and another oppose and throws behind it. That has basically hit three times. Did it twice with a Sharknado, that time a normal throw. It's super hard to get away with. I know Damascus has spoken about it a lot, right? It's a rock in the hard place. You kind of have to tech if he does normal throw, but if he does command grab, you can't back that because opposed to hit you, you jump. The team is normally ready for like PRC F. So I think it's literally this, right? It's like the, the only thing you hope is that you jump back at the right time. But then you're still under a mix because he can still jump air throw you. He can still just like jump and hit. He can jump and do nothing and bait a burst or whatever. You are in an extremely unfavorable kind of situation. And that situation is not the hardest to set up either. For sure. Wow. Thank you for demonstrating what me and the master were saying. Thank you, Lucy. We appreciate that. Now, now everyone in chat can understand how very strong that strategy is. <laughs> Meaty explosion. Oh. oh, yo, that punch, that that was a freaking Hajime no Ippo punch, man. That you saw the punch in the gun, like ah. Unfortunately, it didn't need too much, but I felt the pain. Like the punch was like bah! the solar plexus strike. Press one, if you got hit. <laughs> that was man. You don't see Axel's uh, six P often, but when it hits, it hits, man. That looked like it should have taken double damage. That hit real hard. Rib cases, oh, that looked like a Mortal Kombat start of a fatality. Should have zoomed and showed the, the rib cage like <laughs> yeah. shattering, quick change of games, and then we go back. <laughs> Damn, Axel low. Okay, but unlucky. I think, I'm not sure what the confirm is off of that, actually, to be fair on the ground, because most six P's on counter hit knock you up, but Axel's actually keep you standing. So I'm not sure what you go for, unless you're free buffering Renton. <laughs> Who knows what you go for? <clears throat> Maybe jump counter into bomber, but you've got to be super ready for that, I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's see. Game number two starting. Latif already in the leads. And Mystic going to attempt to weather the storm. And once again, win condition, right? You're in the corner. He actually perfectly interrupted that 5D there with the 2K, but did not believe what he could do after that. Back to the corner we go. Yep, tapping at the legs, good blocks from Mystic. Opposes gone BRC. He's looking for A to return because that bar is all red. Breaks the law to get out of there. Two P. Oh, doesn't combo. Ooh, close S. Far S, my bad. Instant burst from the team. He wants to keep the momentum, the momentum Damascus, and he gets the glass smash everywhere. 
Alright, back to blocking and there we go, the 5D. This was an absolute... That's the thing as well with Zato, right? The, the, the nature of playing against Zato means that if you're in the corner, you are in a very long situation, my friend, and you will be sent to the corner. So in a long set like this, your objective should be to stay out of the corner as long as you can. But Latif is so good at just taking the lead early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very much so. And yeah, like, he gets so much screen carry on all of his any moves, right? Uh, lead, PSR, drills. Oops. Oh. Nice. Huh? Okay, we take those. Get away. Yes. And Latif was just flying. And the reason why he was flying C4 was not just because he was waiting for Mystic to go for something, trying to go to snipe there. It was because there was no Eddy gauge. So he was just like, I'm gonna fly around while Eddy is chilling and coming back. And then when I land, I can call him again. Yeah, you, you see that a lot from him, right? He'll either do the flight or he'll use like RC to extend his like string. So he'll do something, something into drill, RC. And what happens is the Eddy gauge still goes up. It's not affected by time. <clears throat> Yep. He's uh, Kronos. He's not affected by time. He is time. So it's a very good way for Zatos in general to maintain their Eddie meter. Like you said, he was going for the fly again when it was on red. Now it's blue. He is going on the offense. Ah, let's see. Let's go back. And Mystic looking to get something. And look at, like, it's been 30 seconds. We basically, we barely had any opening between these two. Because that's the difficulty, right, for Mystic. It's hard enough to keep Latif away. But then you also need to open Latif up in these situations. Mm hmm yeah, it's very, oh, that was such a sick shimmy. He didn't even back that. He just walked away from the situation and said, Officer, it wasn't me. He made Latif have to burn the PRC. And something you mentioned earlier, this level, people are using meter just to be safe. Not for combos or anything flashy like that. Just to have a safe, fundamental match. Ooh, trying to get in, but the pressure is going to be on. And now it's a good luck. And there we go. The mix has landed. The guts have spoken. You're not dead. Liver of health. Got a burst. I don't know if he's going to get a chance to do a gold run because Eddie is out here. He's in there. BRC. I respect it. It's away from Mix on this gold burst. This is very good for Mystic. Yep, close line. He's got more time to slow it down. Oh, he's looking for the burst. The last burst. Oh, he caught him. Mix. Oh, he did it again. Mix. <laughs> Mix. 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 The Mystic burst bait. Mix. TM. My man oh, stop oh. times, look at you, you're like, your next move is, you're gonna burst. May we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like some Devin Brown, bro. He's, he's planning it into people's mind. He's just looking at them. He's just stopping time, looking at them, going, use it. Use it. Let me take it. Let me absorb. Let me devour your burst. Man, that was ridiculous. Mystic. <laughs> In dominant fashion, taking not just the W. Latif's soul. The burst was removed completely. Good stuff to Mystic. Let's go. That was definitely extremely clean. Mystic, even in the setup. And that's important to do this as early as he can, right? Because there is a ton of work to do to keep Latif from getting any kind of momentum. Taking early games is one of these. Exactly, Noon. Noon knows. This is why we need Mystic at Evo. Mm -hmm. When is Nando's sponsoring Mystic? <laughs> For sure. Oh yeah, Mystic is playing perfectly now. I think he's got a slight read on Latif's opposed timing as well, because if you do Rensin as he's summoning a pose, you actually hit him and Eddie. That's what you've got to do. It's only when you hesitate and do it after he's pulled a pose, Rensin just gets devoured. And two times this match, Mystic has done it. He has prevailed. He's put Eddie in his own puddle. He's one round up. The momentum from the last game might be carrying over. All right, then let's see if Latif can bring this one back. Mystic has been playing Textbook Axel Gaming so far. Just moving around. Oh, and he's gonna man. keep that uh, Zato away, but Latif on the offense. Bruv, Mystic's 2Ks on the Eddies are exquisite. Oh, 2H again! He has somehow stopped uh, Latif from calling Eddie. Bro, he can't do it. No more Golden Rams. He's, he's, he has to find a new way to do it. All right, yeah. here's a close up. Can't do anything. First, perfectly fine, right? Oh, Golden Stone. He was trying to snipe. It's not punishing, but regardless, you get uh, Eddie in and somehow Mystic completely avoided Eddie. Jumped around it and the 2k is gonna take this one. Mystic takes the lead over the champ. He, that game was Eddie extermination. And that's yes. so, so crucial, not just to beat 
uh, Zao Latif. Latif is so strong with Eddie, right? Like he is one. They are like symbiotic. They're, they're one and the same. Yeah. So to get rid of Eddie is half of Zao's toolkit down the pan. He is still a blind assassin at the end of the day. Without Eddie, there's a very few things he can do. And yeah, Mystic understands the enemy so much and he's taking full advantage of the, the opportunities that it's given to him. Well, that being said, Latifi is not going to uh, give Mystic much more momentum there immediately. The 2P times 3, just moving around, trying to uh, look at when will Mystic burst there. Oh my god, the classic, the checkmate situation. Yep, opposing Sharknado. I like it. BRC of the 2K did the grab too early. Nice confirm with 2D. Damn, that was a. Uh, that was saucy. I like it. Get some screen real, real estate. Trust me, forward. Oh, we invite to help. He jumps away. <gasps> the teeth might have to think about bursting soon. Yep, can't summon. <laughs> Done. Mystic. Putting some more pressure. And taking the rounds. Latif now needs to adapt. <clears throat> I like it. It definitely feels like since Drive Cup, Mystic has gotten real strong and he's understanding this matchup is crazy compared to how it was before. Oh my gosh, the confirms of the RC looking for the burst. It doesn't come. Nice defensive throw from the team though. Don't forget this man just came back from winning the trophy offline. Uh, of course, it's going to save you from that though. It's not. It's not. You get the hit, you kill Eddie as well. So you know that uh, you can actually be a bit liberal in the buttons you press right now. Latif's got bursts. He's got the extension, sending him into the corner. And another of the checkmate situations right now. Probably going to do it again. No, the challenge from Mystic. And he's getting the counter hit. That's going to take the game. Mystic is insane. Fam, he did 2 hate at point blank range. <laughs> I can't. He's actually Mystic. I, I did not see it. I saw the 2k 2d and then it whiffed. I was like, damn, maybe 5k next time. He did 2 hate point blank. He, I don't know, man. He's different. He's constructed uniquely. He is. I'm just saying in Arc River Finals, this is loser's bracket. Right? Because 3-1. Tell him again. Tell him again. <laughs> Tell him again. Louder for the people in the back, yeah? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're so true and mystic. 3-1 up. I, this, I think, Zin, no, SSF might have done this and Barry. And then normally after going two down, Latif gets real aggro. As we can see, look at the red on the wrist. Never mind, it's gone back to pink as he's getting chunks out of Mystic. Look at the damage he's done. Oh, get shimmied! All right, we're going to wait full screen and now we fly. But great challenge by Mystic and again 2k 2d. I feel like he's got so much mileage of 2k 2d in this matchup. Just going under, ducking under some of the moves that Latif would attempt. And now we keep him away. Oh my gosh, Mystic playing so well. So he's utilizing the land and recovery, right? He has not gone for air into... Oh, no. He might punish the... Yeah, oh okay. my yeah. god, Mystic. Yeah. Super smart. Oh! Uh, so good. So good. Mystic is so smart. That, that was a checkmate on Mystic's side, right? Because Sequel Storm definitely get Eddie. And he, he when you uh, come out of... Uh, invite, uh, not Vitale, sorry. Break the law. There's a lot of recovery. And there was no RC on Latif's side. It was a guaranteed punish. Super sick understanding there from Mystic. Ooh. All right, we keep the corner pressure now. Latif going to over the 5D and the 5D is going to land. We're going to send him into the corner, into the super, of course. Maximum damage, Oki, maximum AD gauge. Latif on the offense, trying to keep Mystic guessing. And there we go, the schmixterization landed. You are in the corner and you are dead. That was a fast and efficient round. Man, that was emphatically clean that cross up the classic left right i'm gonna jump over you let eddie do the hitting very clean and ending it with the among us you look sus get off this meeting table you're done i'm missing to try and keep latif out as long as possible he doesn't want that situation to happen again take it to the skies and this time you see latif is falling down with buttons right because he doesn't want that close s punish on the landing frame yeah all right we're staying full screen right now and we're gonna attempt bring it back because there is a life lead on mystic side and immediate burst of course from mystic wants to recreate the same situation as before where he's far away got the meter to get this one what a throw by latif 
get the PRC, but the oppose is gonna stop you from doing absolutely anything. You know that. And now Eddie is putting you under pressure. The mix is going to be there. You're gonna block. That was a three layered mix. There were three mixes in the span of like two seconds. Mystic blocked two of them, and the third one hit him. Come on. Damascus. That mix, in my mind, I saw Zhao in a Nappa. <laughs> A Nappa mod and Eddie was Cyberman, bro. That's how dirty that was. No way. There was too many layers. Way too many layers. There was like three overheads. That was ridiculous. And Mystic blocked until the last mix. That's one cross up, one overhead, and then another overhead when you yes. think that he's gonna land. 3 2, Latif reduces the leads. Shout out to Juxtaposer for the raid. I hope you're doing good, fam. Mystic still has the leads, but Latif is there. How do you block that? You don't. It's simple, you just don't. You burst. That's you burst. what mechanics there for. Exactly, that, that, that's why you have mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah, Mystic definitely got taken to the cleaners that last one with that round. But again, the two hate fishing. Ooh, this is big damage. Big damage. Take him to the corner. Break the glass. Down the canyon we go. Oh, the recognition of the wall damage. Oh. I was wondering if he could kill. That was one touch away, and the touch is going to be there. Let's see. We're gonna put man again behind chasing that scoreboard. And Misty gets the 2k on Eddie as well. No more Eddie gauge. Chat, you need to understand. Those 2k's on Eddie are actually godlike. Eddie cannot exist in this realm, bro. He has deleted this character from the game. Oh my. The, yo! Misty! Yo, I. He's not sponsored the basket. I'm gonna give him money. I, where's the match for Nando's. Your Nando's. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna Uber eat some Nando's to Mystic's address. <laughs> you know what, right? It's not even that it's Latif versus Mystic. Latif is clearly very strong. We all know this. It's common knowledge, right? Yeah. Mystic is doing this with Axel. I, I like Axel, but I know a lot of people think Axel kind of speak. He's making Axel, Mr. Low look high AF. Yeah. Oh, he's. Hell yeah, he's. Well, let's see if he can carry on. He's back to getting 4 2. Back to a two games leads. If he can just manage that lead until the end, that's pretty much like what you would need, right? But it's a ton of work to weather the storm, weather that pressure. He's gonna block that 5D and the second 5D, of course, is not gonna be blocked. Mystic decides to hold on his burst for now and another 5D is going to land. Latif, once again, going for a quick round. And 100% like you said, Mystic, holding that L tightly to his chest, going, you know what, I'm gonna go out like a man. I'm gonna let this burst maybe help me out in the next game. 2K to avoid that air normal. Oh, will leave it to 2S. Didn't quite get to confirm there, Latif, but he knows. <laughs> <laughs> this was awareness as well. This was extreme awareness. Let's see. Oh my god. The hacky is activating, bro. The hacky is activating. I really, I really, you know, like, I'm, I'm just gonna say, I really wanted to make a joke about the today's chapter of One Piece, but I know not everyone has read it, so I won't. You're safe here. But read, read 1043 fam, like you need to anyway. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil you guys just yet. Observation Haki regardless is there. And that was a like freaking 20 seconds match. It can, go, it can happen like that man. If you let the neutral slip for one second against Latif Zato. Some people say Zato's Latif. It can go downhill real quick. So, Mystic's fortitude to hold him out for this many games alone is amazing. And again, the most gourmet 2Ks. Gourmet 2Ks to stop Eddie from participating in this 1v1 battle. 2H against the Masters. He is actually oh. an exterminator of the cockroaches. Bro. And Eddie is a cockroach. He is, he is, he is. Let's see. Good block. The 2K hit, but the 2D was a bit too far. And Mystic got to life lead. Nice use. Oh, that one, and he's getting the counter hit as well. Keeping Latif under pressure. We're gonna go for the snipe there. And then you get in, but you have time to jump away anyway. 
Lovely stick. Stuck into the corner. What a tick! Really sick, and I love it how Latif went. You know what? You've been knocking out my Eddie, so he went to oppose, but it doesn't matter. He is going to get hit with a sickle on the noggin. The Chrome Dome has been blessed with the steal for Mr. Low and missed it. Four, three, another drop kick from the top row. Counter hit. Look at the screen carry. And Latif is not deterred. He is going in because he knows that's his win card right now. Yeah. Let's see. Gets the back throw of the 5D. He's going to be blocked and now we go for the mix and somehow he gets his own back throw. The backdash actually baited that throw but unfortunately Mystic was not ready for the punish on this. He's going to be forced to block. Eddie is there. Another tech from Mystic. His defense is steadily rising but you're now in the corner. Are you going to try to burst? Well, no. Yeah, not being able to burst on the splat. Maybe he would have if he realized quick enough that he could but yeah. Ran out of time, couldn't do it. Even though he can control time, that time, he was out of time. Right. <gasps> he, no, he, he tried to do dash, but I mean, got rented by mistake. Yeah, you, is, I think you can see the nerves, right? Because that's the second time that he successfully baits something. The read is absolutely there, but when the read works, sometimes you're like, hold on, it worked? That, that's probably what just happened. Yeah, super unfortunate. I mean, there is a way around it, obviously, using the dash button. Right now, though, he hit You're the done. win button. You're done. Win button. The is sick cool, Damascus. Five, three, two games away. Mystic. Unsponsored, by the way. You're carried. You're carried. Unsponsored. Gaga Utes, seven, six. Verix, who is sponsored, seven, five. Latif, he's two games away. I don't think anyone's been able to say that since Latif's been unwanted. I don't think anyone's got to 7-5. Maybe Slash did? Yeah, Slash did because Slash won against uh, Latif. But that, that's about it. Like, yeah. That's, that's, let, let's see. Let's see for now. Mystic is looking good. But there are still a couple of games for Latif to get used to adapt and to put some more pressure for now. We're gonna just uh, change the patterns. I love this. It's just use the opposing to nothing, just to wait if Mystic and see if Mystic would do anything there. Latif's offensive patterns are slowly but surely changing, and this time it works. Yeah, the mind games are applied, but Mystic going for the defensive throw, knowing that he can't do anything. Another throw. Him with DJ Khaled. Another one? No, he's looking for the. There we go. He's looking for the. Oh no! He didn't believe he was looking for the burst a bit too much. PRC though, this is gonna be good damage. He's gonna break the glass down the canyon. He's got posing bonus Damascus. It's looking good for Mystic right now, but Latif gonna try to go for the Amogus. We are just blocking those. Mystic not even trying to navigate around. He knows it can be hard to do that. And the Yellow RC is going to work, moving around to try and catch one of the buttons from Latif. But Latif's gonna be patient. Gonna send Eddie out as a recon, trying to go for the mix. That was a proper Street Fighter 5 activity. My man did walk back, walk forward, throw. Yeah. <laughs> yep, the industry fire definitely came out of him for a second there and it worked really right. Mystic wasn't really reacting to the walks, right? A lot of people play uh, react to runs and yeah. dashes, but walks very hard to see, especially when you're in that corner situation with Eddie out. A really strong play there from the team, showing why he is one of the best on the planet Earth at the moment. Try to hit him with Ooh. another shimmy. Oh, put that Eddie away, my dude. Put Eddie away. Back pocket. Catch him like a Pokemon. Put him back in the Pokemon. Oh, no! <gasps> Mystic not finishing his plate. Latif decided to hold on to his burst and that ended up working. Mystic is not bursting just yet. And the Sharknado is going to be applied. Latif just waiting right now. Doesn't need that, that much more. He's probably going to try to bait the burst. And we're getting hit by the mix. Thank you, Burst, for helping me escape this one. Mystic is looking long. He's got some bar to make it work. The pressure is there. The yellow RC to push Mystic away. He's still got the life leads. Latif has a burst to work with. And Mystic takes the round regardless. Manages to clutch this one. Damn, I'm out of breath. That, that was a monologue. I respect it. That was hard to do. But these players are giving us such get sick games. There's so much to talk about, right? Even with Mystic fighting so well in the corner, and he's been doing that quite a bit. When he's got some sort of space to be active in the corner, he's fine there. He's happy there. But getting hit with the dust, he's got no room to sweep up, so he's going to have to eat that. He's going to put the sword in the stone. Down the canyon we go. Eddie is on the prowl. Positive bonus on Mr. Latif's side. Right up Sharknado. He's not going to get any bar to RC it. Yeah, just shy, but... Wake up to game. What a chance. Chad in... Oh, 
Oh, oh, okay. We... I am not entirely sure. Mystic still had bars, but I think he had committed something else. And unfortunately, all that effort of the previous round is obliterated. This is one of the things as well, is that... Like, Axel is not the character who will sometimes have 10 seconds round, right? Zato is. Zato will go from a very long drone at controlling the zoning, the footsies kind of game, straight into a, you know what? Like, 10 seconds, let's go. And that's exactly what just happened. Mystic on the receiving end. It's 5-4. On the UK side, Latif one game away from evening it up. This is crazy. Like, if for people that have watched the other Wonder series, we already had a mad change of pace on Dragon with Yasha. Yep. The 17 times champion again. was taken down. Can we have the same thing on Guilty Gear? Mystic so far has been the most convincing challenger for Latif. But let's see. Oh, we're getting close. And he's baiting that burst. Axel Bomber there. He doesn't have enough bar to try and cancel it or getting any time kind of time stop there we go the prc try and keep the pressure on latif is gonna block right now waiting in the corner the eddie gauge is there yeah latif trying to dash block in but the variation in mystic's timing is making it very hard for latif right trying to look for some ibs probably but what's he hitting with the doctor minds of the grill the 6p put that skull down ain't gonna work today mystic first round free convincing that's i think how most action game are gonna look when they're played like on Mystic's caliber, but the team's gonna try and turn the tide. Nice anti air, but no follow up. Try to get him the close line Damascus, but he's still got all this space behind him, so he's not looking too bad. Definitely, let's see. Putting man away. For now, Mystic in the corner. He's forced to weather the storm. Who jumps away, but Latif. Oh my god, you actually can't. Zato is nuts, man. Jeez. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, nuts. 100%. Coconuts, bro. Coconuts. That was insane! Mixed. Mixed. I am out of words. Let's see. Say less. Say less. Mystic is almost out of health, but he still has space, and that's all he needs to make this comeback. Oh, he got a trade, but the count hit won't let him get a confirm of it. He is fishing. He is trying to make Latif flinch, but this guy can't see. How are you going to make him press a button if he can't see anything? He's going to zone him out. The red on the wrist, Damascus. He's going to open him up. I can see a 2H. A 2H in the near future. If that hits, he is deleted. Oh, he's not going to get much more. Going to block that overhead right now. Mystic getting around. Mystic still got a burst. If he's in a defensive situation, there is no Eddie right now. So Mystic's trying to take the lead. Getting the counter. And got to watch out. He can't get an anti right now. The yellow RC. The burst is baited. And Mystic goes to six. Mystic one game away from taking down the invincible champion. Mystic is playing out of his mind right now. Can he do it? C4, that would be the first time a player from EMEA that is not Saudi beats Latif in a long set. One game needed from Mystic. But this game is the hardest game to win. No matter how comfortable you are in a set, when you're one game away from winning that set, that's when your brain starts nerfing you, so, like subconsciously. It immediately yes. starts doubting like, all right, can I do it? Can I actually do that? Oh my God, only one hit. These are the kind of thoughts that you need to get away from and play your game. Mystic needs one game, Latif needs three in a row. And I think that mentality that you're talking about is definitely something that plays a, plays a big factor in, I think, every level of play, right? Hopefully, Mystic is just playing and waiting for you to say, stop playing. I hope he doesn't know what the score is. Because, like you said, the pressure of knowing you only need one more game to beat Latif in a format that really favors me. Pack dashes the throw this time and the pose doesn't stop him. But Latif showing that he is the master of defensive throws. Blocks the low from the empty jump. Gets hit low. Leap, break the glass. Yeah, he's going to put a sword in the stone once again. So, Eddie is ready. This is what's intention here, Damascus. Can he make another turnabout? Well, for now, he's blocking. Oh, the RC. But what a counter RC by Latif. It was like, hell no, man. You, I can also control time to some extent with my blue RC. Latif taking the round, looking to immediately reduce the lead on Mystic's side. But Mystic getting the first hit, gets in, and the back throw sends him into the corner. Yeah, unfortunately, missed the 5k on the return from the uh, obstacle. He doesn't go for it the second time, and that might have clipped as Zao was in fly mode. But again, we can see Mystic utilizing that, that good fortitude that he has with defense trying to hold the corner but this time he gets opened up maybe latif is a little bit angry now you know Ooh. going down six four i think he's on the prowl he's on the predator motive right now and oh I'm, my god that was so dirty that was so dirty that was a character assassination he ran up to him and jumped on purpose because he knew he was gonna take
Yeah, he's uh He's looking long. That that was that was the buffer game. When you have, when you have that kind of game of, of lead, that was the buffer game. That was the game to see are you confident in your skills or is the pressure of the event about to this to destroy you? So now is the moment we take a moment to think and like all right. That's all right. My buffer game is out. We can now play the damn game and press some buttons. 6-5 for Mystic, Latif, gunning to remain the wanted champion. But Mystic is giving him a fierce challenge, man. Yeah, insane amount of pressure. I think even on Latif, because if you remember in Strive Cup, uh, after, you know, after the tournament was done, Latif gave Mystic like mad props. Said, like, he's one of the best, if not the best behind him, obviously, in, in the region. So Latif has shown notice that he understands how good Mystic is and maybe he, pra he practiced a little bit too much against Happy Chaos. He wasn't ready for Mr. Axelo, the bandana boy in full effect, but he's in full block stun right now. Oh, he I beat that? Wild. He was a bit too ready and got watch out because Mystic right now is in trouble and Latif is looking like he's in berserker mode. He's non-stop getting the Sharknado. These rounds are getting clean. And this is what has been working for Latif throughout this set. The short rounds, the ones where he immediately gets the offense and does not give time to Mystic to think. And that's the ideal thing to do right now. As an experienced player, the guy in front of you is ahead. He wants time to think. Don't give him any time to think. Stop him from keeping that lead. Yes. Yeah. Like, Latif has completely changed up his game plan. This is kind of reminding me of how it was with Verix, but with Verix it just didn't work when he changed his game plan His game plan to go super aggro. But for Latif, it's worked because I think Mystic has been so respectful of his pressure and that Latif knows to react and try to anticipate stuff. Latif is literally just going ham right now. And it's working. It's definitely throwing off Mystic. We're gonna go through the Among Us just to get some plus frames. Eddie Piercer, the first one wins, the second one pins him down. Goal burst. Wow, that was a Ooh. hero goal burst. If I see one, if he makes his comeback to Damascus, I might drop my whole PayPal account in that match for I'm not gonna lie to you, fam. That's absolutely insane so far. Mystic trying to be as clutch as possible. Just keeping the distances. Latif has a lot, has resources, has Eddie Gage, has burst, has absolutely everything. Trying to snipe the man. Mystic's gonna get away, forced to block. He's not willing to, uh, to use too many bars, and that's really good. Gets the throw, gets more pressure into the RC. And now when do you burst? We don't burst out there, bruv. Match point for Mystic. Championship point for Mystic. The comeback is done. Can he close the sets? Mystic, bruv. Please don't take all my money. Don't get me too high, bro. I might put in one too many zeros. Be kill, be kill. Oh, good count here from Latif, though. He wants the money. He wants that KFC. He wants to eat free, as he always has as the wanted champion so far. FD trying to create some space. The dust does not get blocked this time. I'm going to break the wall with the sword down the canyon once again. But we've already seen Mystic make a comeback from this low before. Can he do it again? Unless... Darknado says no. Darknado says no. 6-6! Six, six. He's bringing it back to 6-6. Six, six. It's the final game. This is the first time Latif has been in this situation. He actually came back two games in a row. And now it's 6-6. Six, six. It's a first one. First one for the Wanted Championship. Either a seventh win from Latif and equalizing his previous run as he was taken down after seven wins by Slash. Or, or... Mystic taking him down. Mystic has been putting as much clutch as he can, but right now Latif is looking extremely solid. First to one. The bet is up. Guys, put all your esports money in this bet. Who are you backing for the final game? I can't call it. I, I, my heart, obviously, three lines on the shirt, three Leos on the shirt. I want Mystic to win, but I know Latif is super strong. And the, the change that Latif has done in these last two games, it's going to be very hard for Mystic to adapt that quickly, right? Uh, let's see. He only needs to do it one more time. Just one more time. Oh, the closest. Just missed time. Couldn't hit him out of the flight. And now he's in the corner. Something that we've seen Latif do to our many players, making them victims. Oh my oof, gosh. Oof, oof. Oof, rare moment. Rare moment of hesitation on Latif's side, but he's still going back in. Mystic in the corner now. He's got burst, but he needs to find a way to keep Latif away. Manages to hit Eddie out. The Eddie gauge is recovering, and Mystic's just gonna try to keep that Eddie away. Eddie, Eddie is available again. Mystic putting the pressure on Latif. There is a bar available on his side, but the 6P is gonna give all the damage needed for Latif to offer himself to match point. This man refuses to lose refuses to lose indeed the dash of 6p saying i know i know i've seen the patterns the data has been collected 
Now I only need to do one more round. He's made the comeback. Latif made the comeback, by the way. Don't get that twisted. Mystic was in the lead. He is trying to hold on to it for his dear life. Same way he holds onto the sickles right now, though. Just peppering Latif with little bits of damage here and there. And yeah, get rid of Eddie. Once again, 2H counter hit. Couldn't get the confirm though. Unfortunate. Back himself up to the corner. And just waiting. Waiting for his moment. Immediate burst. Oh, he's getting the opening and he escapes the corner immediately. This is looking better for Mystic right now. Latif, he's got the boss, but Mystic getting the anti air and the counter hit to send the man into the corner. Mystic looking for the command grab, but that's gonna be avoided by Latif going for the snipe and somehow gets the hit. Mystic got to watch out because he's in the corner right now. Getting opened up. Can he use the burst? Can he not get baited? It's so efficient that he's getting the 2H up close. Final rounds! In final round, last game, it all comes down to this. Mystic still has burst. Latif has no burst. He should be able to get it as long as the match doesn't go down too quickly. You know, oh my god, he hit him again. Summoning Eddie. Leave him in the Pokeball. He's not here to play. Sasso, you need to fight me on your ones. Mystic has definitely been like 1v1 me bro today all day long so far this is looking like a very balanced one Mystic has got some uh, resources there but he's being pushed slowly but surely into the corner and the yellow RC to get away no 5D shot land yet Mystic trying to keep that Zato away moving out of this corner and he's getting the anti-air this is looking a bit better for Mystic and Latif immediately using his burst Latif putting the pressure into the corner right now the command grab and this is looking long C4 Dark Dado, he's got 50 tension and that burst kept him in the game. <gasps> he did an empty jump into nothing and the team goes for the front of the passage. Oh my god, no! He takes in the team with this clutch moment. I cannot believe Teeth made that comeback. I can't believe Mystic took it to the team so much. That that's gonna go down in the history books. That's gonna go down in ages. That was one of the best first sevens I've seen on the cards with two other seven sixes. You're carrying! Mystic played how many games today? I 